fed fish in the spring. Got him. Oh no. Got her. This is probably my favorite all time bait. Okay, oh god. Well, there's a bed fish there, and there's one there, and there, and there, and there, and there. You bet. But it's up, Meffers. We got a fun video for you today. It is spring in Texas, and the big ones have moved up shallow there is bed fish all over the place at our lakes and even though we don't got the best conditions for bed fishing today they're chewing they're, they're committing and i'm going to show you a lot of different ways that you can go out and catch fish bed fishing and hopefully we're going to come across one of those true texas giants i am so freaking jacked guys we're going to be using baits from this size right here to this size right here and we're gonna catch fish on just about all of them today if you guys want to see more bed fishing videos do me a favor hit the thumbs up right now and share this video for the rest of you guys stay tuned it's about to be fun let's get them so we're gonna be throwing a lot of different bed fishing rigs in this video but this right here is my absolute favorite all of them are components from six cents fishing got the clear peg stopper five 16 ounce bullet weight five aught ox flipping hook and of course the plastic of your choice these are my main three choices that I start with. This is the Six Sense Prawn. This is a natural flipping bait. Um, no action, but it absolutely gets them. This color especially has been awesome for me on bed. It's called Mud Belly Burst. Bright on the back, natural on the front. I think all that sparkle and shimmer just gives it the appearance, even if the bait's not moving a ton, that it's alive. Because all those sparkles in there, they just glimmer in whatever light you may have. And then of course, everyone knows a lizard is a bait that uh, the fish hate during the spawn time. And I think this one can mimic a bluegill as well as a lizard because it is in the color watermelon red sunfish. So that's another natural combination I have. And then if the water's really dingy or I just need that fish to react and they're not quite reacting to these two baits, I hit them with the white stroker craw. Those three baits are all fished on this exact same hook, everything, and they freaking get them. But I got a couple more sneaky rigs. If this doesn't work, then we're gonna catch a lot of fish on today, I got a feeling too. <laughs> little buzz bait blow up okay kind of blasting down the bank here seeing if i can see any beds and everything i've seen has got little males on it that felt like a little bit better blow up than a male i didn't really see the fish he kind of got me sideways and pulled off in just a split second there but that's a good deal he was not on a bed either it's a little too deep i think definitely a good bait to cover water with though low light conditions around bed season the buzzing bait well he might have been a fry garter bunch of little fry right there i bet a lot of them must have done their thing already and if i'm only seeing males of course that can mean that there's females that just haven't pulled up yet too so i'm sure they're in all stages okay got a little male on the bed here i'm gonna throw in prawn on this bluegill color threw the hog wall in he didn't do anything on that maybe this will look a little bit more like a bluegill which i know there's bluegill in here and they're probably doing some chasing because I'm seeing fry and stuff everywhere. When they start guarding fry, bluegill are the main peckers that they seem to be after in the post spawn, the immediate post spawn. These guys are so spooky though. Got his mouth. Oh, he just had it. I think he grabbed it by the hook, honestly. Like the back of the hook, he went ding. Oh, good to see. They will eat it. I don't know if you guys watched my video the other day, but a, I talked a lot about how to bed fish, how the fish are reacting to the baits. Oh, he got flare on it again. He's gonna eat it here in a second. But one big part is with the fish are spooky. It's important to have that bait in their bed when they come back to it. Oh my God, he just crushed it. <laughs> Took the entire thing off the hook. Isn't it crazy how a fish can do that? Like, I have everything set up for the mechanics of this freaking hook to blast him right in the upper part of the jaw. He crushes it and he gets everything except the hook. It's almost impossible. I didn't even sting him. Ripped the entire thing right off. Watch this, dunk. Oh, 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 turn, turn, turn. Wish we had a camera down there. Comment down below if you guys want to see some underwater. 
bed fish in the spring. Come here, bud. Yeah. Pretty good sized male. Pretty good sized male. Dang, I didn't think he was that big. They look a little bit different down there than what I'm used to. That, yeah, that's a male probably. That's a big male though. That's like a three and a half pounder. I'd be completely fine with coming across more of those guys. All right. Go on back to your bed, bud. I'm not gonna bother you anymore. Deal, we're on the board with the bed fish. All right, we got another pissed off guy on a bed right here. Doesn't look like a giant fish, but I thought when I pulled up, I saw something bigger run off. So maybe there is a big female with him. Either way, he don't like this prawn. He's headbutting it. We're gonna piss him off big time here. He's chased it way off. I'm gonna fire it back on the bed so he's there when he gets back and it's gonna be game over. You guys ready for it? Oh, Flary McFlare mouth. They do not like this bait and this color on the bed, that's for sure. I just wanna put it in front of like a 15 pounder and see what they do. He's so mad. Maybe he'll pick up the uh, hog waller. Let's try a hog waller in there and see what he does. Wish we could do like live voting. What should I throw next? White stroker craw, hog walla, 14 inch swim bait. You guys choose. All right, let's see what thinks Mr. Hog Waller. Got a feeling he's not gonna like that bigger, longer profile in there very well. Oh yeah, they are paired up in there. That's why I didn't come back to the bed. He's out here dicking around, chasing tail. Maybe, just maybe. A little shaking head in there. I'll piss him off enough to make him go. There he sees it now. Got him. Oh no, he's in the tree. Get out of the tree, bud. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's too fun. I don't know what this is the female, the male, what this is, but it's pretty dang solid fish. Heck yeah on the little shaky worm this is probably my favorite all-time bait for just blind casting when i can't see bedfish but it also catches bedfish too as you guys can see the little divine shaky worm on a real light shaky head you bet bud get on back there we don't want to hurt nothing. We don't want to mess up the old spawning process. We came, we conquered. We're catching almost every fish that we're coming across on beds. Unfortunately, we have not yet found a big old mama. That was a little mama. I think that was a little spawned out mama. I don't care what she was. She did not like the little shaky worm. Oh my goodness. I thought I freaking had him right there. This fish has been all over the place. I spooked him and then he's just making big circles, big circles. Once again, he comes back to it. Look, he's all mad now. Now he keeps coming right back to it. He didn't like that prawn in there at all. Can't believe all these fish seem to be spawned out. The moon was a few days ago, but. There you go, girl. Go back in there. Got the mail. Got the mail. Come here, bud. Man, that's a fat freaking mail. Look how freaking tall that guy is and how beautiful look at the colors on that thing my goodness built like the female but it's the male look how pretty that fish is that is insanity that's like an ozark clean water bass not that this water isn't super clean today but for texas anyway that was badass and the female is quite a bit bigger than him or i think she is anyway let's see if we can get her to bite now now that he's gone a lot of times that's all it takes she doesn't like stuff going to her bed but she isn't freaking out about it either let's see what she thinks about old mr bright mr white depending on how she's built this is the biggest one of the day she looks like she's done spawning so she's wider than that male that's for sure that time we got her tail perfect probably made her pretty mad here she goes. Got her. Got her. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. Yeah, buddy. There go. Nice fish. Hell yeah. Took some work in, but look at that. The white stroker crawl. Got it done. 
thing is freaking buried. Look at that hook. Angry, beat up female, probably four and a half pounder, all spawned out as you can see. So we might adjust our tactics. We might start throwing some more glide baits, bigger baits, stuff like that, because these fish like to suspend in the timber once they get off the spawn. Bed fishing is so much fun though. So haven't done it a lot this year. I definitely want to do that. I know you guys like to see it too. Threw a bunch of different baits in there, but um, the white Texas rig stripper crawl got her done. Let's get her back in. I tell you to go make some more babies, but you've already done that. So let's go get bigger. Hey, buzz bait fish. Rain started. Fish bit. Not a damn lunch bowl in my mouth. Not a bad one either. Deal. Let's move back into a little hidden pond. First cast back here. That one came up and slurped the buzzing bait. That's what I like to see. I was paying no attention. The usual. He stuck out. That bed was bright. First one I've caught in a while. Oh. Doesn't seem to be any females up shallow unless they've uh, dumped their eggs already. Do it, bud. Gotcha. Oh. Hi, bud. Thanks for pulling on my little divine worm cricket. Maybe I'll catch you next year. Go get it, bud. Oh my god. Are you blind? This guy is caught. Alright, this guy just looks like an angry little shit. Let's see if he'll bite. I think he'll just crush this worm when he gets in there. Okay, here he comes. Caught it on the fall and just didn't have it in his mouth even. Unbelievable. How do you not get that little profile in your mouth, bud? That time he did. And I lost him. I don't know. It's just weird that I keep... I'm getting a hook in. I don't know if it's this little shaky head I'm using or what. I usually have pretty good luck with it though. I know I could get this one on the big rod, but he's small and I don't think it would be that fun to just rip his entire face off. <laughs> Alright, this is stupid. I need to catch this one and get out of here. Let's go with the Pranica Lewinsky. Throw it past the bed. Work said prawn into fish. Fish misses Pranica. Fish chases it out of the bed. Still chasing it. Still chasing it to the boat. That's what you want. Throw Pranica back in. Eats it on the fall. But he missed it because I think he's partially blind apparently. This guy just really doesn't want stuff in his bed. Oh my goodness. This guy ain't even worth Pranica and that's what's going to happen. I'm going to freaking catch him or just blow out a Pranica. That's what's going to happen. Alright, back to the spin rod. Got him that time. This is the little pecker we've been dicking with. Fun though. Fun peckers, right? So fun. Beautiful colors too. This little baby shaky worm, I couldn't get rid of it if I wanted to. These things are durable as hell. Just keep biting a little bit more off. We're down to about a two inch divine cricket guy. Whatever. Beauty. I'll take it. That was a fish back there. I could see a little light spot. Yeah, buddy. They are mad at this color. If you guys are bed fishing this spring, get yourself some mud belly burst. It's a bad dude. Yeah, bud. Couldn't stand the little cricket. He's got a cool black spot on him. He gulped it good too. Suck that thing in. That is the one nice thing about that little tiny profile bait. The bed fish can get it deep even when they don't want to. Because it's so small. It's just all hook. You bet.
What do we hook here? Oh, a big old bucket. Hi, Mr. Bucket. He came up with his mouth just Okay, oh God, he wants to run. Decent little fish, probably post-spawn female maybe. Shouldn't do that. Shouldn't stretch out my line. Nice. Fat little guy who's chasing a big wad of bait. Not the right caliber, but haven't had a lot of the right caliber today. I'm just trying to catch stuff. The rain just blasted us. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, it's not too much on the lens. Yeah, the rain just picked up for a second and came out a little bit offshore here, right on the mouth of this spawning area where I saw those bed fish and saw some chasing a little school bait. So I said, okay, I will try to catch those fish that I can see on my screen. Why is this one so mad? Oh, please don't jump. <laughs> Look at that. How crazy is that? This guy, I've never seen this before. He has, at the very least, five thread fins in his mouth let's kind of one that's my bait two that one's pretty digested but three four Get the pliers five Nope, he didn't get it down yet. Six. That's a hungry dude. I've never seen anything like that before. Well, we got bait. <laughs> 